Hello everyone and how are you? So my name is Jermaine and today I have Matt Kime, a free creator. How are you, sir? I'm really well, thanks Jermaine. How are you? Very good, mate. Um, now, we are together because you, are, you have uh, donated your skills, your talents and your time to be able to do a piece uh, for UNICEF for the children of Ukraine. So first of all, I want to say thank you for giving us of your time to record this, but also to do the drawing. Now, do you have the drawing with, with you? And then I was just wondering, uh, just tell us a little bit about the piece, what you chose about it, and, um, and then also, I guess, why you decided to draw something for, um, to, to be able to raise some funds. Okay, well, basically, it was a no-brainer. You know, I got an email from you guys talking about this project you were doing. And, you know, like everyone, I've been watching the news and thinking, you know, feeling kind of hopeless about this whole situation and basically being, like, disgusted by what's, what's going on in the world, um, as I have really for a long time. You know, as you, you, you get old and you watch the news, you, you start to, you know, just wonder what's wrong with some people, what's wrong with some places. But yeah, when the opportunity came up to do a piece and to, um, you know, know that it would be going to UNICEF and helping out displaced young people, I thought, of course, you know, I, I, and I want to commend you and the, and the guys for thinking of it. And, um, and um, I think it was, was it? Sal Valuto, yeah. Yeah, Sal, yeah. Uh, what a great idea. So yeah, of course, I'd jump on board straight away. No right. right. So could you just show us the piece again? Um, yeah, certainly. And then just talk and tell talk a little bit about the piece. Yeah, well, this was, I guess it was an, an idea I had a little while ago and I hadn't gotten around to drawing it. I always, I thought it'd be good to use the good mark in a composition and have Diana kind of um, posing in it. Um, mm. I guess I had a few ideas, you know, that maybe it would just be a picture of Diana, you know, lounging on this thing, but but it's going to need more than that. Like, you know, as much as people love Diana, they probably want like the, the Phantom in it some, in some way. And I had a, I had a few sketches. Um, they're only, you wouldn't even be able to see them. Um, I probably not even worth trying to show you. I draw my, my sketches very, very lightly. Like I picture it up here first and draw it out. Um, but I had this idea about drawing the good mark and the skull and then having maybe Sala could have been on the good mark and maybe like Dogai Singh could have been on the like lounging or, or fearful of the, the skull and having the phantom up the back and Diana. Um, and I played around with that composition, but it just it wasn't working out. Um, I thought I've just got to simplify it, go back to the original idea. And so that basically was to have Diana resting, lounging on the good mark, as you'd imagine she would and have the phantoms head here, you know, making up the composition. Mm. And just as like a bit of a last minute entry, I decided to put Bevel in because, you know, he'd, he'd be there as well. And also it would help me avoid having to draw Diana's feet, which is a really hard thing to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really honest. No, so that's, Devil, that's great. Bevel's there as a, like a bit of an artistic um, hack, I guess, because it's easier to draw a wolf than women's feet in high heel shoes. <laughs> Ask anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. I love that story. I love the composition, just like with the shadow of the phantom. Um, I had a t-shirt with that phantom kind of looking. Yeah. You've probably seen the t-shirt as well. Um, well, that's right. It's such a, it's an iconic picture. Yeah. And then throwing in the good mark, it's just, it, it works really well. Um, I think, yeah. The, the, there's so many, so many images like that where, you know, you have, have a face silhouetted or half darked out and have a massive contrast. And then that negative space is used. Mm. And yeah, just, I don't know, it just sort of popped into my head that, um, yeah, an image of Diana, like there's no threat in the picture. She's just, she's peaceful, she's at ease. She's resting kind of casually on this symbol, which is a big part of her life. And yeah. obviously, yeah, the phantom ties it all together. So, you know, I just hope that someone out there enjoys it. Um, and I'm very, very, happy to offer that to someone that wants to help out UNICEF. Yeah, so no, I really appreciate that, Matt. So for those who uh, want to know the details, uh, it will be a $10 uh, ticket for the faffle. So for those who have come in late, um, it's like a raffle, 
but we got to phantomize it. So we put the PH in front of it, of course. Uh, a big shout out to Paul Maloney, who was the one who designed the word or he came up with the word faffle. Um, absolutely brilliant. And uh, we have used it and everyone else uses it as well. Um, so it's like a raffle. You purchase tickets. So they're instead of a maximum amount, we're going with the minimum amount. So it's $10 ticket pay via PayPal. Um, and then it is uh, a minimum of 15 tickets. We can do more. And the whole amount is will be donated to UNICEF. Uh, we will be starting this on Friday night and then we'll be uh, drawing it probably a day after we get the minimum of 15. And we'll do a Facebook event where we can, you know, where we can draw it, we can talk about it and, and stuff like that. So that way everyone sees it. The winner will be, we'll have their details uh, sent to Matt. We'll pay the the money to unicef will send a screenshot of that to matt so that way he can see that you know 160 180 150 whatever the amount is uh has gone to unicef and then he will send that off to the purchaser and it's all the your ten dollar ticket is including the postage as well so there's no extra charge on top of that so um so some people want to there was an interesting fact that i came well, that i found that basically 110 dollars gives three children a warm set of clothes and a warm blanket. So, you know, so if this is, let's say we get 150, that will be four children will be basically be able to have a warm set of clothes and a blanket so they will not be cold at the middle of night because it's still, they've just come out of winter and it's still spring, but it's still cold uh, and there's still a lot of snow and, and sub-zero degrees and stuff like that. So... That's just kind of lets you know what the money is actually going to go. So um, thank you everyone who has participated so far. We've, we've topped the thousand dollar mark already. Uh, let's do some more. We've got some more pieces to come. I want to hit at least two and a half. That's kind of like the, the, the end goal figure that I would like to see. Um, Matt, I appreciate your time. I uh, appreciate your skill, your donation. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing what you and uh, your fellow artists and creators from around the world have done. Um, and it's always good to see fan fans and fan creators getting together and making a difference in, in some people's lives. Oh, thank you, Jermaine. Also, I thought that was really nice of you to mention um, uh, where that money goes and how it can help. Mm. So, you know, we, we just have to put ourselves in, in the perspective of the people who are suffering. You know, uh, you're a father, I'm a father. We know what it's yeah. like, that what we want for our kids. And it's just, you know, it's appalling what's happening. So um, I'm, I'm glad you said that. It gives a, you know, it makes it more real, doesn't it? It does. It does. You know, for, for us, you know, to organise this and to draw a picture, it's nothing compared to what's happening in other parts yeah. of the world. Very good, Matt. Thank you. Thank you, everyone who uh, has uh, purchased uh, tickets so far. Uh, from myself, thank you and happy fans to me.